Welcome back to the Chris Chen Weekly Update. I'm sorry for missing last week, but a lot has happened, and we're going to get into it right now. We're going to start with Jacob Sockness. During the last two weeks, Jacob has posted a new dialogue with Magichan, which I have covered in a video already. Uh, ben Saint also did a live stream with Chris, and I'm going to cover that in a different video in the future. So at the end of my last video, I challenged Jacob to block me. He said that he was going to block all of the trolls, and so therefore if he didn't block me, then that meant I wasn't a troll. That's a it's pretty simple logic that I figured he could follow. Uh, so he fell for this hook, line, and sinker, and he immediately blocked me, which is, you know, like a, uh, a huge net positive, because now I can't read any of the terrible things that he sends me. It's, it's like tricking a kid into playing the quiet game. I just got him to be quiet, and he thinks that he's winning. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this for realsies with, uh, Jacob's new threat. This time he's threatening Chris. Uh, Jacob and Chris were originally going to go to BabsCon together, but thankfully people were able to convince Chris not to meet up with Jacob there. So Jacob posted, uh, this post on subreddit, on his own subreddit, actually. Uh, let's read it. BabsCon dead. I, I give up on BabsCon 2020. If she, meaning Chris, doesn't spend the 14 days with me at my place afterwards, I'll curse it all. I know if she refuses, it's because of trolls, and I'll curse the merge to be sealed for life until we spend a month together, even if we share the time between my place and hers. My spells are required to complete things. I sealed this with Magichan, and he agrees we need to share power. The trolls hindering me will cause delays in all merge events at this point. Anything hindering me will hinder the merge. We need to get this through ASAP. Or, we need to get through this ASAP. So, you can see... You can easily see what he is doing here. He's once again bringing up that Magichan agrees with him. That way, Chris will necessarily have to agree with him. He's saying he's necessary for the merge. He's saying that the merge can only happen with his magic, and he's saying that his magic can't happen if the trolls affect him, and he's saying that the trolls are what's stopping him and Chris from meeting up at BabsCon. So basically, he is saying that if him and Chris don't meet up at BabsCon, and if they don't live with each other, first he says 14 days, and then he says a month, uh, then the merge isn't going to happen. He is once again holding the merge hostage behind him and Chris having a relationship. So Jacob also knows that I have audio of him, but for, ever, for whatever reason, he thinks that the call I have is a call that he did with MKR, where he was channeling Jacoba. Uh, so, th this is actually really funny. So, in order to lessen the impact that my video is going to have on Chris preemptively, Jacob showed Chris the entire phone call, so that he could hear it from Jacob first. He exposed his bad actions to Chris, uh, but then he made excuses for it because he thought that that would be better than Chris hearing it all from me. <laughs> the problem is, for Jacob, that this call with MKR is not the audio that I have. <laughs> Jacob exposed his bad actions to Chris for nothing. And that's, that's just, that's, that's amazing. Love it. Uh, so now we're going to go back, we're going to look at the usual things, and we're going to start with Chris's Twitter. So uh, this, is, this starts with Jacob talking. The real war has yet to begun. <laughs> has yet to begun. Oh my god, it's so early for this. This week going after the demons in human flesh. My true love, Chris. The war has yet to begin on the 1218 side with these trolls. There will be a lot of channels getting axed and accounts being deleted. That's once again referring to um, him wanting my YouTube channel be to be taken down uh, just because he's nervous that I'm going to reveal these bad things about him. Uh, I did make a video that was basically me defending myself, so saying like, hey, you know, if anyone hears bad things about me from Jacob, please watch this. Uh, I don't know if that's actually going to help, but it's something. Uh, he, Jacob's also apparently gotten several Twitter accounts banned just by mass reporting them. Uh, I'm not sure if those accounts were actually harassing people or not, but I know that he has managed to get certain people banned. He continues, that curse is going to be a mighty ban hammer. All hail the supreme goddess of all creation, my true love, Chris. I only fires a few shots across the troll's bows, and those were blanks. Now it's coming time for me to actually summon up a Belial demon of worthlessness. A deadly disease strikes Troll City in C-197. The disease takes out a third as was fated. 
to save the rest of C-197 from the spread of Trollosis. <laughs> from the spread of Trollosis outside the area, Nation of Quickville decides to nuke them with Czar Bomb for the greater good of humanity. And then there's a picture, like, this <laughs> This looks like it's uh, like a microscope looking at a petri dish, and I don't know what that is. I said oops as I leaned over her desk to give Chris a kiss. I accidentally pressed the button ahead of schedule, and warning gets out. All trolls will not survive the merge because even their OCs got nuked. I guess this is supposed to be like a, a, a mushroom cloud or something? I don't know. So, because Chris thinks that this is all real, because he thinks that Jacob has OCs and has contact to the other side, Chris has to address everything Jacob says as canon and try to retcon it. So he, here's how Chris responds. I have read, reread, and meditated on this event. I confirm that such a thing only happens to the self-counterpart of all haters and really bad people of 1218. As they were isolated in this one distant troll city, all neutral and good trolls remain unaffected. Okay. <laughs> so, Jacob says, we're nuking troll city. And Chris says, hmm, well, I only really want to kill the bad trolls, so, uh... I'm going to retcon this so that only the bad trolls were in bad troll city. And Jacob says, They are called trolls because they hate. Troll lol are never good people. Trolls are monsters of Norse mythology, but I am only referring to this type. And then he links to the Wikipedia article on trolls. They are all evil. The better ones are called chroniclers. The ones that do o own't pester aren't trolls. Yes, the ones who intentionally begin quarrels and upsets are amongst the hater types, so we are on the same page on that topic. The few select bad people and haters, as they are fated to continue for a future judgment and retribution, such as Idea Guy and Boyd paying back what they extorted. Aww, he thinks he's getting his money back. I do confirm that not of a disease, but a fated event literally took out Knoll's Equestria Pony OC and self-counterpart, even though drawn by my hand some time ago. So he thinks now that he's killed Knoll's OC. Knoll's the head of KB Farms that Chris now hates. This had happened beyond my own control. So among the bulk of haters, Knoll will not survive. Quickville does not launch this nuke, but a military division was given this order by Trump's better half. By, oh, I forgot, Trump's a good guy on the other side. Uh, was given out this order by Trump's better half and self-counterpart in C-197. There was no mistimings, and the majority of haters and bullies, self-counterparts, and bad intentions OCs have been lost in the process to make room for the survivors from 1218 side. I also personally... Hold on, why is he... I also personally attest all of the past and presently... And then CPU cuts in, but he continues. Active brony analysts, including all those who identify as a troll, and this counts a Ben Saint and... I and we as well. They all survive the merge, both their respective OCs and themselves here as well. As for who amongst the haters specifically get the chopping block, that remains out for my specified control, and I can only offer input for those among who I have in the past talked with or heard of. This outcome and path had already been long planned out beforehand, and this what a blah blah blah. Chris is basically just saying, no, that like this didn't happen. We didn't nuke him. We only killed the bad trolls because he doesn't want Jacob to kill the quote unquote good trolls. And, uh, so this is CPU goddess Aquamarine. She's, this is a, this is a good person. She says, I'm glad to hear the nukes not being used. That's very wise. And I agree the bad OCs will be dealt with. No one will have to worry. That would also mean Jacobo will be gone. He will no longer threaten you or Jacob's relationship with the nasty lies and possessing. So yeah, if, uh, <laughs> if, if Jacob truly did kill all the bad trolls with this uh, nuke he's talking about, then that means Jacob is dead. Except, oops, Jacob can't have that because otherwise Chris won't need him. Uh-oh. Okay, so this is kind of... Here, here, here's the thing. This is kind of important. Uh, I will also add, since Twitter keeps on refusing to add a tweet edit feature, from my perspective, I, I use the word... I use the term trolling on myself, mainly on the observing of others' choice tweets and comments. Although, I do admit, in the act of good intentions... I attempted, I attempted to make right of Casey's misidentifying Liquid Chris as myself, including my one time of successfully getting into Liquid Chris's email account and contacting Casey to work out and sort out this misidentification. In the end, as many have heard and know, it did not turn out well, as she was more than in love, she was more in love with 
Liquid Chris. And in the reveal in Geno Samuels' documentary videos, it turned out to me that they both, Chris Casey and Liquid Chris, were in fact trolling me with the chaotic bad intentions, and I'm still able to recollect and recount... Why is this so long? Recollect and recount the number of theoretical X shifts I had, even basic French... I thought he was going to, like, say something important. Here, I digress. In light of all that and everything else from my experiences, that is why I pretty much consider everyone at least bit, at least a tiny bit trollish. So my judgment remains solely on the good intentions versus the bad intentions. I also follow the guidance and wisdom of Magichan. Oh, this guy. I'm proud of you, goddess. You only become stronger. This guy. Yeah, I usually try not to give uh, attention to the people who just, you know, comment on all of Chris's tweets to try to get attention. But that one particular guy, that's definitely a... The, that's definitely a, what are we calling him now a quicken he's a true believer or maybe he's just an idiot i don't know okay so uh jacob put out a tweet where he was saying he was saying terrible things about me and he was also he blamed it on autism something like that and so i tweeted having autism is no excuse for being evil jacob uh and then i guess uh someone asked something about jacob's mother being dead i forget all these tweets are deleted so mkr said his meaning jacob Jacob's mother is still alive. His family disowned him and wants nothing to do with him. It's probably his way, his way of coping to imagine she died than confronting the true nature of their separation. And Chris says, I do confirm this is in fact that Jacob has told me about his family disowning him, and all he has is his sugar daddy. I love him, but I'm not blind to his faults and details. I remain on good common sense, wit, and guard. I, I wish. I really wish, Chris. And uh, Jacob says, I love you too, Christine. Okay, so Jacob made a, a list <laughs> of all of the trolls that he uh, he thinks that Chris should block. Uh, this is a file containing all the current haters and bad trolls that have said negative stuff about us. You should block most of these. The ones with stars are connected or friendly with the farms, 100%. So there's just a really long list of trolls. Uh, the thing is that not only am I on there, but MKR is on there. And MKR is 100% definitely not a troll. Jacob only does not like MKR because MKR is against Jacob and keeps telling Chris to stop talking to Jacob and that Jacob's evil and stuff like that. Uh, not only are me and MKR both on the list, but Jacob has put stars next to both of our names. <laughs> me and MKR are very clearly not associated with the Kiwi Farms in any way. So Jacob is only doing things that he thinks will manipulate Chris to make him block people that could actually help him. So Chris says, I'll review it soon. And this guy says, Chris, you can think whatever you want about me, but the fact that MKR is on Jacob's list of trolls should be all you need to see that Jacob is totally full of it. And that is the perfect summary of this interaction. So MKR says, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to make this clear, but I have never been and never will be a part of the Kiwi Farms. Jacob has apparently made a list of people demanding Christine block them, and has stars next to people who he assumes are 100% farms. And Chris says this is very much true. So I'm assuming that he's, by that, he means that uh, he knows that MKR is not associated with the farms. Which means that Chris knows that Jacob is lying, but he, he's not putting two and two together, which is upsetting. Also, it should be noted, obviously, I'm not part of the farms. I've never been on Kiwi farms. Okay, so, yeah, he, this is great. So, Chris is responding to Jacob. He's talking about the list again. All right, love. I hate to do this, but I feel I must rattle your brain a bit, Jacob. Given how much you know about me and so forth, including my past involvements with the haters and the Kiwi Farms. Preface. I am still aware of your faults and flaws, and I will not stop caring about you. But, hypothetically, suppose I decided to be all hate speech against you, massively and overwhelmingly. I would throw so many negatives in your face about you. Would that put me on the list as well? That, that's that's amazing. That's that's so good. I mainly keep my thoughts of you in good intentions of self-improvement, and I remain aware of Jacoba off and on possessing you in communication, as well as baby Jake, who really, who really should be teen Jake now, being in control at times. But I throw all these negatives and statements that would be easily misinterpreted as hate speech in good intention of improving yourself for the better. That is the preface behind my question. Would all that put me on the hater list? So, like, this is, this is really... This is really good. Chris is really critically thinking here. He's saying, Jacob, I've said bad things about you in the past, and I think bad things about you. So doesn't that mean that I'm a hater of you? And if you want to block all the haters, does that mean you'd have to block me too? That is really, like, that's sound logic. 
And it's also really creative that he thought about that and thought about using that against Jacob. I, that's totally, I applaud you, Chris. That's, that's great. Okay, so, uh, the ancient prophecy can be fulfilled. I did a whole video about this where people got very mad at me that I was saying ancient, because apparently I need to say the ain for the ancient. It's supposed to be ancient with the chew for sauna chew in it. So, ancient. Sorry, I just got a lot of comments about that. Uh, but I have a whole video about this, so go watch that video if you don't understand what this is about. Uh, long story short, Jacob says that him and Cr that <laughs> Chris needs to get Alan Christopher pregnant to have the child to defeat Jacoba to make the merge happen. And in order to train to have a child, Chris should adopt and take care of Jacob because Jacob has the mind of a child. And so that's just Jacob's long way around of trying to live with Chris and being in a relationship with him. So Chris says, I was just now reading this over with Magichan. He personally confirms this is fact. Know that I do love and care about you, Jacob. I will do what I need on Kitasuno when the time comes, but I meet in C197 before then. I will call you soon, love. Allow me to reiterate a bit. Though Hulkareen is not... What is going on with this? Oh, it just wasn't loading. Wow. Uh, though Hulkareen is not very likely to be the father of my destined child, Hulkareen is Alan Christopher. Also, Magichan has confirmed that particular conversation did take place, but there are the one or two discrepancies from when this was typed up versus what he actually said. So, Chris is basically saying, like, oh, that's all well and good, but Alan Christopher's not going to be the father, which is good, because I don't want that to happen. Uh, okay, new Sonic the Hedgehog trailer where they fixed him. Everything's, you know, still it's still going to be a really bad movie, but at least it's not going to be so bad it's good, which is definitely an improvement, I guess. Haha, <laughs> 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 best Valentine's Day ever, and only ten days before my birthday. Amethyst and Chris... Jesus. Chrysalable... I don't know. I can't pronounce that. I'm sorry. Festival with a size with a side of lightning strike quartz, psychic and electrical powers, and goddess level abilities. Chris Chan Sanchu is in the house. C197 now. So I, I guess he just really liked the, tra the trailer. Also, loved these from the trailer. Much, much better than the original. Would have loved the meow bit in this trailer, because I guess Chris likes the worst joke in the movie. Oh yeah, this guy is true. Confirmed. The blue art the blue arms don't matter anymore. Because in the movie, Sonic has blue arms. Oh wait, I actually like this. I like how it's the Sonic logo on his headband. Still gonna be a bad movie, but uh, at least it looks nice. Okay, so uh, whoever this person is, they made a comic about Savannah Rose 2 and Mewtwo, and they're saying bad stuff, and Chris is like, oh, you were on the list of Jacob's trolls, so yeah, you're bad. This comic is bad. It's not true. I'm still in love with my husband's... Uh, he talks about the Iron Curtain between the dimensions because he doesn't understand what the phrase Iron Curtain means... And that's basically it. Okay, so I wrote, Jacob just released a Reddit post in which he convinces Magichan that Chris and Alan Christopher must have sex. MKR says, Magichan doesn't sound like Magichan in this, probably because Jacob made it up. Chris says, That conversation between Magichan and Mishiro did happen, but yes, Alan Christopher will not be the father. MKR says, Then why does Magichan talk differently than he normally does? Chris says, In this instance, it was the way Jacob had it, had it typed up. But the conversation did happen. Jake did take some liberties in the relay. MKR says, by liberties, I assume you mean lies. That or creative wording of the truth with keeping it as accurate as possible. Yes, but I do give you that one with the involvement of Alan Christopher. Jacob has made things pretty clear. He wants to have sex with you and also Alan. He will do or say anything necessary to accomplish this goal, even if his targets are unwilling. This includes trying to gaslight any potential threats to this goal, e.g. myself. And, of course, Chris stops responding, which is unfortunate. Like, you, MKR, you were so close. You were so close to making him understand right there. That's, that's unfortunate. So, okay, I love this treat. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Jacob says, had a doctor's appointment today. He said, I'll probably live to 106. Because, <laughs> you know, your doctor will always just tell you a very specific number, like 106, that you will live to. Amazing. <laughs> my blood pressure is 110 to 70, and my weight cl clothed is 212. That would be 208 nude weight. Okay. The diabetes might have been cured by Chris Chan's love for me. We are good for each other. It looks like her love has healing powers, too. I know she's super good for me because I wasn't this healthy ever. Chris says, Listen. I'm not siding with the haters. I'm literally blocking the haters and the bad ones on the list, Jacob. 
I love you, I care about you, and I will do the best for the good of everyone on those these earths and Kitasuna. Do not ever doubt over me in my actions, for they are just. And he says, I'm glad you were looking through it, through it, it, okay? But the clear haters of our love are still there. I'll leave you to your task. And here we go. Here's Aqua. Christine, you only loved Jacob because of his lie that he could start the merge. If he is so strong as he says he is, why hasn't he done it now? Why so long? It's because he can't. Look, I get it. When you want something so much, you'll do anything for it. But right now, you're being manipulated by Jacob. He doesn't love you. All he wants is what you can give him. You deserve so much more than that. You are a beautiful person and so creative it hurts to see you falling for his lies. A friend is someone who supports you, but they are also there to slap some sense into you when you are being dumb. They do that because they love you. Jacob only wants you for your body, but you're more than that and he fails to see it. Unlike the rest of us, we support you all the way, but there comes a time when you must ask yourself, does this person really love me? Jacob has been berating your friends because of what he holds over you, the start of the merge. But guess what? You're so much stronger than him. You don't need him to start it. Jacob will only bring ruin into the new world. MKR says, This is all true, Christine. This is not hate. We say what must be said because it's the right thing to do. We care about you, not for what we can get out of the relationship, but because we want you to be safe and happy. With so much evidence, why defend someone like Jacob? Look at all these people who love and care about you. Listen to them. Even if you... No. If you don't, things will end up just like they did with the idea guy, or possibly even worse. You're being used, and it is wrong. And, uh... Let's, let's see what Chris says to all this. Listen. I understand and have known that he, alone, is unable to start the merge. I am not blind or prone to this, or anyone else's manipulations. I know from personally observing and getting to know him better while I was in Magic Chen's body in California with Mewtwo by... And then he traveled off. I, I guess there's probably more. Hold on, give me a sec. Nope. Okay. By... Oh. By my side. I'm very well aware of his bad side and past impulses, but I also have found and see the potential within him, like Magic Chen and the others have seen, for promoting my own magic and abilities with his and Mishiro's inputs and wisdoms. I am not blind or falling for the lies he takes liberty of adding in things like the recent channel talk between my hubby and Mishiro. I actually have known better, and I still do. I am still learning of my future strengths, powers, and abilities, and I am amongst the, if not the main, catalyst of the merge. I am very well aware in my subconscious and in my backup memories in my cloud save in the cosmos. Jesus. Of all these details, but those are not the reasons why I love and care for Jacob. He is genuinely a devoted type, by himself at default, without having channeled anyone. Jacobo was the one who made the fugly ritual talk, and I agree of the dismal shape Kitasuna's social rules and norms are with the slavery and all that. I intend to do my part to remedy that with my own powers and command when the time comes. He does not hold Jesus. He does not hold anything over my head. I care about Jacob, because despite how functional he is, he still needs the love and kindness only I can share with him to improve himself. He is capable of being better for himself, by himself, with the light power I am helping him make within himself. <laughs> oh, he's a bad boy, but I can fix him. That's what Chris is saying. In the past, no, sorry, in part, I love him out of pity. Oh my god. But on his default personality that I have witnessed and got to learn of personally, that is where my feelings for him go. And he goes, or Jacob says, She knows me offline. Mishiro has a dirty mind and four wives and seven adult kids and many grandkids. The guy in my notes has a huge family. He only wants me to pass the books to the next generation. But as I am on SSI, I vow to never have my kids. To never have kids. This, it's, it's, just, it's just so hard to convince Chris of anything because he can, he can just change anything he wants. Because he believes in magic, he believes in the merge. He's like, oh, yeah, Jacob says terrible things on Twitter, but because I've had psychic connections with him and conversations with him through Magichan, I know he's really a good guy. We all know that the problem with that is that Chris is just imagining these conversations. And so whatever he imagines Jacob to be like is what he actually believes him to be like. So you can't, you can't really argue with him. Like, he's in so deep that there's never going to be a way to actually, like, fix, fix it. 
it's it's hard. Yeah, I don't I don't know. It's gonna be rough. Okay, so this this is a new topic. Uh, the trailer for the fifth generation of My Little Pony has come out, and um, it's kind of it's kind of terrible. <laughs> it's kind of really bad. Like I'm not even a brony, and this is insulting. So a lot of people don't like it. Gives me a Teen Titans Go vibe, exactly. So Chris says, and this is another reason why G5 gets delayed until 2025, and we get My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 14 between them. So Chris still thinks that the current series of My Little Pony is going to go on for five years. Uh, before then, with seasons 10 to 13 before then, I know you can hear us and you will read these Hasbro. Celestia has talked with you all. Don't be corporate greeds. So once again, because Chris thinks that he can talk to Princess Celestia, he thinks that Celestia has actually had conversations with the heads of Hasbro. And so in Chris's mind, all the people at Hasbro have been told by Celestia that this is going to happen. So when they don't do it, Chris thinks that they are disobeying Celestia or that they're lying or something like that. He doesn't actually think that they just have no idea what's going on in his fantasy. Uh, new post, Hasbro Presser reveals new show title and images. Pony Life, My Little Pony, and here's all the new redesign thing. God, they're so bad. Uh, the CalArt smile and the, uh, I don't like this smug nose. Uh, so bad. It's so bad. Chris says, no, we need My Little Pony Friendship's Magic Season 10 to 14. That's too long with hashtag Chris. G5 delayed till 2025. Ha at Hasbro. So bad. Hasbro... Hasbro, you're just, uh, just, just stop. Please stop. Stop ruining my life. Not, not over this. Hasbro doesn't ruin my life over this. Hasbro ruins my life because I play Magic the Gathering. And they own that. Chris says, no, we need to delay it. You know, has, Hasbro, no. At, ha, at Hasbro, no. I think that's a typo. And then he has this gif. Um, so he, he's going to do this a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. And so the, the next bunch of tweets are all going to be about this. Entertainment Weekly. My Little Pony to launch new an animated series and toy line. See exclusive first look. And this is another reason why I'm, why G5 gets delayed, blah, 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 blah. This is, this is the exact same tweet. But now he has this gift with Obama saying, you might want to listen. He's like, he's threatening them. He's like, Celestia will stop you all. Uh, so then, the same article. This is the exact same article. Chris just keeps tweeting to the same article by Entertainment Weekly. Alicorn of the Round Table of Friendship at Hasbro. The same hashtag. And now here's all his pony drawings. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so let, let's temporarily get back to Jacob Sockness. As much as I love this My Little Pony stuff, it's going to get even crazier in a minute. Let's get back to Jacob. So Chris says, hating to confirm these awful truths, but these do match up with the events of past and events happening in foreseen. Okay, you all would do well to listen. So let's see what uh, let's see what he wrote. Of course, he 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 has a picture and there's a picture within a picture and this is gonna be hard to read. Chris or uh, sorry, Jacob says. Jacob says, Jacoba might be one of these man gods. He has called himself that before. He is inside Trump and is working to destroy Earth so that only Rokat can survive here. At Chris, we're really going to need your assistance, so there is a world to merge with. C-197. Uh, I can't really read this. It looks like they're gonna... We need to start nuclear war with Earth. Uh, yeah, I can't read all that. It's too blurry. This, this looks like a picture. Does, does Jacob not know how to do a, uh, a screenshot? Uh, I should note... Jacoba's habitat ship was completed this year, last April. These man-god guys are dead now, but Jacoba is still active in these plans for Earth-1218. Our leaders being lizard men is true. Oh my god! <laughs> Jacob probably watches out Jones. Oh my god. Chris, look up David Icke on Google. Sample his work is true. I don't know who that is. It, it just... It really just keeps getting more scary now that these old sessions are now coming true years later, predicting a Trump-like figure in 2013. That the year these were channeled. Okay. So MKR, MKR comes in trying to help. Again, please read these and apply common sense to the abusive relationship that Jacob is driving you into. 
so what are these signs my partner is gaslighting me? Things like uh, you constantly second guess yourself, you ask yourself if you're too sensitive, you often feel crazy or confused, you're always apologizing to your partner, you feel hopeless or joyless, things like that. How to, how to face gaslighting and win. Educate, your, educate yourself on gaslighting. Get some outside advice. Reconnect with your intuition. Don't confront them directly. Write it down. Consciously affirm yourself. Prepare for a struggle and leave if you have to. Yeah, gaslighting is really, really bad. So uh, now, now let's, let's combine these two stories. Let's have Jacob talking about My Little Pony. Uh, Chris, I think they heard Princess Celestia and the others. The new show may look different, but it's the same cast as before. Please take a look at the toys and give us some feedback if this is the case. It's like, yeah, maybe maybe the same characters, but it's not the same show. No, this is not G4. It needs to be My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 10, period. Just because it has the same voice actors, it does not necessarily make it any good. Teen Titans Go. This is not what we predicted and foresaw at all to happen, ever. So instead of Chris taking this logically and saying, well, I foresaw something to happen and it didn't happen, maybe I don't have psychic powers, he's instead saying nothing. He doesn't even have an excuse for it. He's just mad. <laughs> Jacob says, thanks for letting me know. I won't take G5 seriously then. I won't, <laughs> I won't take My Little Pony seriously. I thought because you were okay with the other versions you liked that there had to be something about G5 being carry on with style art, with different art style, like what happens if someone else channel what it gets filled. What? <laughs> what? I thought because you were okay with the other versions you liked that there had to be something about G5 being a carry on with different art style, like what happens if someone else channels that it gets filtered. This person says, ha, there you go. My Little Pony is moving on from Friendship is Magic and people will watch and buy merch. Friendship is Magic is over. No more seasons. Welcome to the My Little Pony Go era. Watch it. Watch it get 10 seasons. Jacob says, I'm hoping they age the characters a few years and they get hitched. Jesus Christ, Jacob. Aren't they all adults? The show is never clear on their age. I'm guessing early 20s given that Rarity and Pinky own businesses. I want to see Applejack get married. O okay. That's so random. Applejack can only get married if she gets married to me, okay? This guy says, Then it means your predictions were your predication was wrong, Christine. Jacob says, I'm going to watch it and see what it's like. Predictions are seldom correct anyways, what? Not unless you're the one predicting your own actions. What happens when everyone else starts drawing G5OCs? Will they exist in C197 since the show won't exist there at all? Yeah, I don't know. That's... I don't know. I don't get it. You know, Chris... Chris's stuff seldom makes any sense. But even when it doesn't make sense, there's sometimes internal logic. But with his prediction stuff, there is definitely not internal logic. So he just says no and has this uh, this no gif again. I will give G5 a chance that they don't ruin the characters, and at least in toy form. Maybe these are the five missing seasons. I'll give away the ending of G4. They did leave room for another series and even hinted at it in the final episode. Nope, 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 mm -hmm, nope, nope, nope. He, he, must, he just loved this gif. Oh, he posted it again! Jacob says, after reading the article, I was hoping they would go in this direction. I hope they give the main six boyfriends and hopefully a more family life with some adventures. Hopefully. Please. Why does he want these ponies to be have boyfriends? That's so random. And Chris just says, no. Man, may maybe this is what's finally going to separate Chris from Jacob. Maybe he'll finally see that Jacob's evil because he likes the new My Little Pony. MKR says, I need to finish G4 first. Kind of like this new look. I really don't. I mean, yeah, it, it, the show honestly looks terrible. Jacob, what season 10 or G5 season? One should be as the main six getting partners. All those lessons of friendship and no one finds love. Not how I want it to end. I want to see it go full circle. I want to see the Cutie Mark Crusaders as teens going through all that experience. Do not say G5 of anything. It is G4 season 10, period. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to make sense of those that aren't as first in your knowledge. I don't mean offensive, just trying to show a filtration between dimensions, if any. But clearly, without seeing the scripts, we can't 100% tell. What if there is a round table? I'm going to reserve judgment until it's started, and I see and study the storyline since the main six ended season nine with the possibility, with that being a possibility since they have a holiday or something when they meet. You really should just watch the last three episodes. They don't kill the series. Yeah, just in case you guys don't know... Chris refuses to watch the final three episodes of the last season of My Little Pony until they announce the new season. I guess because he doesn't want it to end. 
I, I don't know, whatever. So from what I know of My Little Pony G5, it appears safe to say that this pony life thing isn't it. G5 isn't really going to kick off until the release of the new movie in 2021. This newly announced series is essentially G4.5. That means if you really hate it, it's safe to annoy it, to ignore it. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know there was going to be a movie or anything. Oh, yeah, I think Hasbro is making a whole bunch of new movies. Chris says, yep, G5 is delayed till 2025. G4 gets five more seasons, and this Pony Life thing is not G4 or G5 at all. <laughs> I wonder if this guy, whoever this guy is, knows anything about, uh, like, Chris Chan. <laughs> this is, it's so funny. Oh, look, look, he posted the gif again. Some pics we just put up for Equestria Day. Thoughts. Oh man, I do not like her hair. Man, this all looks terrible. <laughs> just no. You know, one of the reasons that Friendship is Magic caught on in like 2010 is is because people really liked the animation. It was like, you know, Flash animation on TV was finally starting to get good. But God, does this look terrible. This guy says, Chris, you really need to distance yourself from Jacob. Don't affiliate yourself with someone who worships a violent god like Jacoba. Chris says, you think I'm blind not aware of that? You do not understand the circumstances, but I do. Psychic power, we, Magic Chan, Sylvana, Mewtwo, I, and every other psychic have foreseen everything. We know all about Jacob, and he remains a vital piece in this set of events. I just hope you're being careful. I know you have powerful people around you, but Jacob seems toxic in how he seems to be trying to isolate you from your allies in C-197. I don't foresee him using, I don't foresee using him in any way to try to get what you want, ending well. Jacob says, you're the toxic one. You want Christine to be alone all her life. I love, I love how he says, if you don't want Chris to be with me, then you must want him to be totally alone. Because obviously those are the only two options, right? She now has a real chance at happiness and you try to steal that from her. You're toxic like Love can Canal. I don't know what that is. Maybe even worse. I've defended her so much against the blind hate. <laughs> Jacob's so bad. God, I hate him so much. Here's my last post about the Sonic movie for at least today. Yes, it's a bad edited Amy. That's actually very well done. Uh, Chris just said, yeah, that looks really good. Oh, he posted the GIF. He did it. Drink every time Chris posts this GIF. Good morning. This is a reminder that no, this is not just a nightmare you had. This is real. Chris says, no, My Little Pony Friendship, whatever, whatever, is what we need. Not this go. Oh my God. No, no, no. Oh, he did it again! You're gonna get alcohol poisoning. This n The new style Rainbow Dash has been revealed, as well as the new whatever. So here's the new toys. And look, this is the exact tweet. This is word for word exactly what he just read. What he just wrote, I mean. Oh, he did it again! Pony life. Okay, so he's just he just keeps responding. The same, the same words and the same gif. Hey everyone, I have another announcement for you all to do now, for yourselves and our OCs. Break your own fourth wall. Chris still doesn't know what that means. You all have your own audience in C197. Isn't Earth C197? I get confused about that. Right? Is that That's us? You have your own audience in C197. Rather it be the many who read about it from the one who chronicles about you there. No, C197 is the other place. Okay. Or even simply your own self-counterpart who just feels everything from your own subconscious and occasionally channels you for themselves. This is my chronicler. Christine Weston Chandler in C-197's Metropolis, Delaware. <laughs> and a Justice League of America member. The Quick psych -like. She has been... So I, he thinks he's in the Justice League too? So he, he's a pony, he's a CPU goddess, he's a Sonichu, and he's in the Justice League. Got it, got it. I understand. Okay, sure. Writing and drawing about me for decades. She writes about me. Except, whoa, wait. So on the other side, they chronicle us, and on our side, we chronicle them? So wait. By, by Chris's logic, that means that Spider-Man writes about Stan Lee in the other universe? I'm confused. I don't get it. Uh, she writes about me extensively. There are literally volumes upon volumes of books in graphic novel forms and movies as well. Well, there kind of actually are, Chris, but that's beside the point. Uh, hey everyone in C197, how are y'all doing today? I even addressed the audience who drew me here in 1218. Y'all know when you all hear me as you draw, color, and write about me, even with complete silence around you. Our OCs in C197 often break their fourth walls because they are aware of us, and it is our time and turn to return the favor. We do this in progression of the dimensional merge. 
So to all of you, break your fourth walls now. You may even have fun with it, but also be good to remind your audience to break their fourth walls as well. We are doing this together mutually. Thank you all. Okay, let's break this down. Let's try to explain this. So we've known for a long time that Chris thinks that the fictional characters who exist in C-197 are being chronicled by people here. So once again, to reiterate, uh, Stan Lee is not inventing Spider-Man. Stan Lee is merely chronicling Spider-Man because Spider-Man really exists in this other dimension. And occasionally, let's take Deadpool, for example, uh, they will break the fourth wall and they will, they will acknowledge the fact that they exist in another dimension and are being read by people from our dimension. This new lore that Chris just tweeted is saying that people in that dimension chronicle us, that our OCs over there are writing about us. And so if we break the fourth wall, if we acknowledge that we are being read by people in their dimension, that will break the iron curtain between the dimensions and it'll, ha it'll make the merge happen sooner. That is what he's saying. Which is very confusing. Yeah, that's not how the fourth wall works. It, it very is. Bruh, telling us to use common sense, I can't even. <laughs> also, off topic for a bit, someone asked me if the live-action OCs are there in C-197. Yes, they are. Sheldon Cooper, Fraser Crane. You do not bring Fraser into this. Sully, they're all there. But if you're thinking something like Seinfeld, you remember that was based off of Jerry Seinfeld's and Larry David's actual life events here in C-197. So use common sense in determining that for yourself. That's confusing. It's all confusing. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, this is... I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm... I, it's not that I'm running out of things to say. It's just that it, it's hard to read this on the fly and then understand. And then, like, like I have to read this. I need to, I need to orate this to all of you. Comprehend what I'm saying. Try to understand what he's saying and then come up with commentary on it. And that's difficult, guys, okay? Y'all aren't paying me enough. <laughs> this guy says, Metropolis is in C-197. Metropolis can't be in C-197 because it doesn't exist in Sonic's world. In fact, there isn't even a North American continent in Sonic's world, according to Sega. Maybe I'm missing here, or this is typo. Everyone and everything exists there. Marvel, DCU, Sonic, Mario, Game Industry... Goku, Kim Possible. Oh, I love he starts with like like Marvel. Yes, that's a universe. The DC universe. Yes, that's a universe. Goku. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what that's called. It's the Goku show. <laughs> Goku, Kim Possible, Simpsons, Gumball, Ratchet and Clank. They all are there, and they're all watching and reading about you. Hiya, folks. Yeah, I don't get it. Uh, I guess I'm confused about how they can all exist on the same Earth in C197. For example, could the Marvel and DC characters coexist? Based on everything I've read from both companies and their multiple team-up books, they are separate. Also, in the 90s, Marvel and DC showed up showed up what happened when their dimensions and respective timelines did merge and it created all new characters. It was pretty cool, but these books, as well as their introduction of the character Access, owned by Marvel and DC, keeps their dimensions separate. So DC versus Marvel. So you have, like, this is Robin, Spider-Man, you know, you got, you know, these guys fighting, whatever. You know, they're all fighting... What about Axel Asher, a.k.a. Axis, the superhero whose job it is to prevent DC and Marvel universes from merging together again because last time it happened, it almost destroyed the multiverse because the two universes are incompatible. There's one comic book character that's jointly owned by DC Comics and Marvel Comics. He's called Axis, and he has the power to create interdimensional gateways between the two companies' universes. That's actually really cool. He also has the power to temporarily merge his allies. I kind, I suppose, kind of like his fusions in Super Universe. So here's Iron, the Iron Lantern. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So again, it's it's obvious to anyone that this whole thing is nonsensical. But I think that Chris's explanation is that the fictional universe works like Roger Rabbit, where I hope I, I hope you guys have seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit because it's a great movie. But in that movie, all these cartoons exist, like Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, uh, uh, Bugs Bunny, etc. So even though like Bugs Bunny is Warner Bros. and Mickey Mouse is Disney, they exist in the same world, and they also coexist alongside humans. And the movies that we see, like the cartoons of Bugs Bunny that we see, in their world are movies. So like they will pay the real Bugs Bunny a salary to film these Looney, Coon, Looney Tunes cartoons. That was hard to say. I almost almost had a racial slur. Oops. Uh, so I'm assuming that that's what 
Chris views this other dimension as. I had my first churro at BronyCon this year. It's good. Then we should try these fruit-filled churros together. They'll be yummy in our tummies. I hate Jacob. <laughs> like, I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna, like, hide it anymore. I'm just gonna, you know, just, I hate Jacob. That's it. Okay, so, uh, Jacob told me to kill myself. And Chris, Chris is a total bro, right? I, I, I'm loving Chris this week. He's doing some good, some good work. Here, here's what Chris says. There's a reason why I don't play along in this. I have read your recent work it, wordings on Gibby. Do not get me wrong. I do not like Gibby, and he is a hater. But even I would know not to, not to throw... Sorry. But even I would not throw such insults so much, for if I did that, that would only warrant similar insults back at me. That's... Thank you, Chris. I do unto others as I want unto me. I do not throw insults onto others, as I would not want insults thrown at me. This is... This is even despite my past impulses and the number of incoming insults that haters have stated unto me over the years. Gibby is blocked from my view. Yeah, he blocked me a long time ago. I think it was like Marvin or someone blocked me on his behalf. Well, let's see what this guy says. Chris, Gibby does not hate you. He hates what's happening to you. We all do. As do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Practice what you preach. What happened to love your neighbor as you love yourself? Yeah. Again, I... I... I don't know if I hate Chris. I hate the things that Chris used to do. In my early videos about Chris, before I started, like, documenting his current stuff, uh, I definitely hated Chris because he would, you know, he, you know, he hurt people physically, caused a lot of damage, killed his cats, but, you know, I, I think it's true that he probably has learned from a lot of that stuff because he doesn't do a lot of it anymore. <sighs> Sailor Pony for Life. New Pony li Life Style, whatever. Hasbro, no to go pony. Yes to my little pony Friendship's Magic Season 10 to 14. And let's see, he did it again. He commented on this person. No to go pony, yes to, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he did it to this and this and this. He keeps commenting the exact same thing over and over on a bunch of different threads. Upon seeing this, I can't help but recall early development notes vehemently insisting Pinkie Pie should not be a spaz. Addendum. I'm not criticizing the art, it just made me laugh remembering how I was asked to tone it down with Pinkie Pie. And a decade later, this. Maybe I was ahead of my time. And this is from Lauren Faust, she's the creator of uh, Friendship is Magic. She also made, uh, I think she made Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, something like that. Uh, oh, and um, I think her husband made Powerpuff Girls. And Chris says, yes and no. But Epic, no. This go treatment on the ponies is abusive and needs to be prevented. I'm very well aware of the round table of friendship idea because it is present. It is present fact in Equestria, and it needs to be chronicled properly. This go pony really should not be. Man, I want someone to explain Chris Chan to Lauren Faust. Like she has to be aware of him just because he comments so much. But I want someone to like sit her down and explain the whole thing to her. Uh, hey Hasbro, we are protesting to kill Go Pony because that's not what we want. We want My Little Pony, whatever, whatever, whatever. What is Go Pony? It's an all take on pony life, as I'm not in it to question the lives or ponies, but moreover, this Go interpretation, whatever. He he's just saying that um, Go Pony is what he calls the new spinoff because it's a lot like Teen Titans Go. And then he says that he he believes uh, Hasbro do watch and read the comments. Believe me. Oh my god, he drew a new card! Nightstar in protest! Just no. No to Go Pony. Yes to Friendship is Magic, uh, season 10 to 14. Barring Go Pony new goal. You may discard one active goal card, draw one new car, goal card to replace it. And here's the flavor text. <laughs> okay, at Hasbro, even I and every other individual in Equestria can only take so much from you greedy executives, but we will never stand for this Teen Titans go slander of ourselves. You read our comments, and you hear us from C197's Equestria directly. We want to be chronicled properly and accurately correct. And so does everyone there in your Dimension 1218. Nightstar sound at you. That's... <laughs> That's amazing. I don't know why this thing, but I like it. Okay, Boomer. Chris, Chris, I guess Chris think that this is like actually, this is actually hurting the ponies that live there. Everyone in the Go Dimensions are jerkish. We do not need any more jerk versions corrupting the young minds any further. And Unikitty is in Lego Dimensions, totally different. I'm totally not that. So yeah, because he thinks that this is like going to actively hurt the real ponies. What is this? And what? 
Okay, it's time it's time once again, Ga. We need some more money. Please help. And I do not want to hear get a job. Uh you pay quick fill using PayPal. So quick he's asking for money. And look at my mother. She's once again giving me grief. She got fat again. Wow. I didn't think she was this fat. I thought she's been thin for a while because, like, they're starving. Jesus. Yeah, she looks bad. And before anyone asks again, I will start pre-sales on the Sonichu card game. Cards very soon. I like to complete both the Sonichu and Nightstar expansion packs before I do. That will only be a few days from now. <laughs> I don't think she's okay, Chris. Yeah, that's... Did he ask? He's like, I'm going to take a picture of you to show everyone on Twitter. That, that's bad. Aren't you a goddess? Just finished the merge already. Geez, your riches in Quickville should be able to cover all these expensive. One quickie, Quickville currency, is equivalent to, like, you know, zero US dollars. No, it's one-to-one -one because Quickville uses regular US money. Do not be without common sense. No, actually, Chris, that's false. You told us, you explicitly told us, sorry, I'm getting worked up about this again. You told us that all fictional currency equals one Quickville dollar and that one Quickville dollar equals one US dollar. You explained this when you were talking about Pokemon. Because you were saying that one Poke dollar would equal one US dollar. But then because in the Pokemon world, it's actually the Poke dollars in the games are actually based on yen. And one yen is generally around one cent in America. This like would destroy the entire economy. I did a whole video on this. Okay, so don't change your story. It is not that easy to just complete the dimensional merge with the restrictions and limitations that are in 1218. I'm not fine with those restrictions, but we are getting increasing magics. Here, with more and more opening portals and growing te tears and cracks in the Iron Curtain. If it were that instantly easy, I would have fully entered C197 and completed the merge over a year ago. Stop the hating and bad trolling. Yeah, it, it's trolling to, to say that the merge isn't real, of course. Of course it is. I don't care about the economy of whatever. Here, this guy says, Wow, you're showing a really ugly side of your personality with these qu tweets. I'm overworked and really tired. Of course, like, the excuses come out. Right after he was saying that he does unto others as they do unto him, whatever. I do my best to keep calm a mind as possible, but it's not easy with the increasing magics and events. I'm sorry for showing an ugly side. I do not mean to. At least we get some help with keeping us stable again for the while. Thank you all. This guy says he should monetize his YouTube account, which I think it is now. I'm not entirely sure. I think someone told me a couple days ago that it was. Hey, Hasbro. We are all protesting to kill GoPony, because it's not what we want. And then all these knights are already read this one. Let's see. Coon in protest. No to GoPony. Protesting at Hasbro Inc. He took a picture of the outside. He drew all these ponies. It's amazing. Telling it to the executives. <laughs> I love it. Look, this doesn't even have any any uh, stuff. This, this card does nothing, right? It doesn't look like it does. There's no game text. It's all flavor text. Okay, I can't find it. I know I saw this because people on my Discord keep track of uh, all of Chris's tweets. Uh, so, Pokemon Sword and Shield came out a little while ago, like uh, about a week ago. And the Pokedex surpassed the Pokedex number that Chris had said that Sonichu and Rosechu were. They were like in the 900s. And so this is obviously very uh, bad for Chris because now there's official Pokemon taking up that slot. And he, he said something to the effect of, like, no, 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 th th those numbers are specifically for Sonichu and Roshu. And instead of, like, thinking, instead of retconning it or thinking of a real reason to excuse this, he just said no. He just he just ignored it. <laughs> that's, that's great. Okay, so uh, that's basically it for the updates. I am going to make a video on Chris's... A uh, video thing with Ben Saint. I don't know how much content there's actually going to be there that's useful. I'm still transcribing Jacob's stupid interview thing because he's incomprehensible and I need to write out the whole subtitles for that. So that's going to take a little while, but I'm going to get to get to work to that today right after I'm done editing this. Uh, I'm going to read Jacob's books. I'm going to go through all of Jacob's Reddit posts. I'm going to try to do everything I can, continuing the Softness File series. I'm going to keep documenting Chris. And I'm also working on some other projects that aren't related to Chris. Uh, please join my Discord. Link is in the description. It's good for 24 hours. If it doesn't work for you, leave a comment. I'll usually see that. Or you can send me a message on Twitter at GIBI underscore Devin. Hashtag stop sockness.